everybody. As you already know, this is the re. This is my mom, re the renowned YouTube who likes to post videos for fun. I'm a YouTube. A YouTuber. Her name is J Gaz Mom. Yay. And what is your name? Mm. Just first name is okay. Well, Katie. Should I say H? No. Just Katie. Yeah. And what are we doing today? We are reviewing a movie. More so than one. We are reviewing a couple movies that might catch your interest. So if you're going to comment, please be polite. And you'd have to no, like be rude. No, don't. Yeah, rude. Don't encourage them. You can respect each other's differences. I mean, there are certain movies we like and certain movies that don't actually click with us and that we don't like. But the best part of Vive la Difference is we can agree to disagree. So these are movies that Katie herself has picked to review. And she's going to do the reviewing. Okay, and but... I'm going to nudge her in the right directions. And... And aren't you going to do something? I'm going to edit the video and say stuff. And make sure that I don't do anything stupid or weird. Yeah, because that's my job. Okay, it's first nobody's. movie this coming is up. It's all about Eve. If it's from what year? It's, I don't it's know. It's up on the top screen. The year. It is 1950. Yep. This. Who, uh, who's this? This is Marco Channing, played by Betty Davis. Who's that? And Eve. Played by? Ann Baxter. Yep. And apparently, as you can who's see. Who's that? That's. Sitting all the way down on that staircase. Apparently. That's this. That's no. What what actress? Marilyn Monroe. She, yeah. She played the small part. Apparently, she is less cunning than who? Eve. Who? Who is Eve? This is Eve, and that's Margot. All oh, right. And and it, what was the plot about? It's don't tell the ending though. Okay. Okay. Well, you can sort of see for the eyes. Of Karen and Lloyd Richards and Margot, where Eve pretends to be innocent, but as it turns out, through the mouths and eyes of, of, well, ears of Birdie, whatever that idiom means, apparently she's just a pretty face who's a manipulative person. Person that, that is up to no good. And. She has almost tried to break Marco and and Bill apart. All right, don't tell me anymore. Describe why you like the movie. Why I like the movie yeah. is that it's got some dark humor, but if you're looking for something that's movie appropriate and if what do you mean, movie appropriate? Wouldn't any movie be movie appropriate? Well, yeah, but there's some... You mean family appropriate? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, if you did, like if you're in my shoes and most is, or or 50% movies and, like, black and white, figuratively speaking, bother you, then this is perfect because... Nobody actually dies, and if you want to... Isn't that a spoiler? Sorry. Actually, if you want to see... See, like... Like, the the frenemy, or the enemy, and the... And the heroine in this, like, dark humor. Try to battle it out, and try not to lose her love for Will. Then, I mean, Bill. <laughs> I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish your anyway. sentence. Anyway. 
<clears throat> then you might like this then movie. Then you might like this movie because it's, it's very dramatic, but it's got its funny parts, too. And is that it? Is that all you want to say about it? That's about it. I give it a either a 9 out of a 10 or a 10 out of 10. Okay. Let's find this the next movie. This is Laura. This is the film in 1944. Who's in it? There is Jean Tyranny. Who, she, which, that's the girl in the picture? Yeah, she plays Laura and this... These, which guy? I don't know the dude's name, but he plays... He plays... The guy on the right... Is Shelby McElby. And, and his actor is... Vincent Price. And the guy in the middle... Is is Clifton Webb? He plays other roles, but he plays the ma the manipulative, overly possessive, love stricken, love sicken Mister Lightdecker. All right, you're too loud. <laughs> Sorry, I've seen also too many not in videos. this picture is Dana Andrews, who is is he police? Well. Some kind of detective, maybe? Oh, I think you're thinking of the model, Miss... Not the model. The the guy. His name is Dana Andrews. The guy in the beginning. Who's oh. looking at the picture. Oh, yeah. That's the one who... Is he a detective? Or yeah. Or a re reporter or something like uh, that? He's a detective. He could be like a... a like... I think he works with the police... I wouldn't say private I. His name is <coughs> Mark Mc, McPherson's and apparently and apparently he's gathering enough evidence to figure out who killed Laura. Or at least that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. And don't don't spoil the ending, okay? Yeah, but I'm you mean the middle where Laura isn't really? Well, you just you just spoiled that. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay, so in so but somebody did die, and it was Diana Redfern. After we have strolled on through the memory lane of Mister Lightdecker's twisted psychotic mind. All right. <laughs> Stay on camera. Oh, sorry. I have to do Your that. Your hair looks very red today. Oh, I don't care. It's pretty. Thanks. Okay, so what do you like about this movie? What I like about the movie is in the beginning it's slow, but it's it's not as it's not as boring as Gone with the Wind. <laughs> Cause I mean I think one of my relatives who. Is a resident here? She said I wouldn't like it, but if you guys like Gone with the Wind, you you can like it. We can agree to disagree. We're all friends here. So I get this movie. You caught me. I was... I still have to be objective. You give this movie what? A 10 out of 10. Yeah. It's got... Very good acting. Yeah, it's really good. And you should hear... You should hear the maid. No, 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 no. She, no, don't. she is a really good screamer. No screaming, please. No. She, she screams... Right, do you have anything else to say about it that might get someone to want to watch it? So if you want to see a very slow paced but mid-paced type of movie without the blood and gore then that's for you is it funny and it really is funny no it isn't it isn't funny it's, it's serious drama it it they it's are not a comedy it it's got dark humor and well sorry a little bit i, I but I a lot less than all sponsor. about eve yeah and only in this one they're snarky and there's still a little bit of drama, mamas. You're too loud. You're too loud. All right. Let's find the next movie. Dawn. 
What's so funny? You are. Okay. Apparently, this is what called. What movie is it? This is Lever to Heaven, and it was in 1945. And Jean Tyranny is in the the movie, and she plays Ellen Barrett, and Corner Wilder plays plays Richard. Let's see. I don't remember his last name. It's okay. Just say Richard. Let's see. Richard Harlan. Oh my he goodness. goes by the name of Dick, but that's a nickname. I tried entering it. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. And this is how... What is it about? Apparently, it's about how Rick fails to, to see two sides of Ellen Parent. He gets... He eventually gets married to her after... After, after Ellen decides to break up with Shelby, only not not Shelby. I mean Shelby. It, <laughs> I'm sorry. I the actor who played Shelby in the previous movie. Yeah, Vincent his name Price. is his name is is Russell Quinton. He is like viciously evil, but she's more evil because. She's like overly possessive. And if of I of what or who? Of Richard. She won't she won't let anybody be near him. And not just women, anybody. Yeah, anybody. Even Danny. Don't 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 you don't have to explain that part. Yeah. That has to do with the picture on the screen here. Yeah. So it, no spoiling. So apparently she doesn't take this very well when when they when Danny comes to live with them. When Danny comes to live with them, especially in Back of the Moon and That's a place. That's a place and Richard is an author and and I can feel I feel like I could relate to him a bit, but I write, only I do fanfics. Mm -hmm. So, why do you like this movie? Well, I like the movie because I can just put myself in the character's shoes. I mean, like, for example, like, if I was, like, if I was related as Richard Harlan's sister, I would just back up and ask the woman, Ellen Barrett, Whoa, for the love of Pete, ma'am, ma'am, can you just, can you just please give Richard some space? This isn't true love. He has his private life. You have your own private life. Seriously. Okay. I'd, and I'd be like, can we just get along? I'm aiming for world peace. Why can't we just talk this over tea and crumpets? All right, this movie also has oh random sorry. quotes that Katie has loved to memorize. Why, are, why don't you give one? Are you in love with Ruth? Are you in love with Ruth? Are you in love with Ruth? What's my favorite one? I'll never let you go. Yeah. <laughs> so I, what do you I'm rate so this focused. movie? I'm, I think, at least I'm rating it objectively, right? Doesn't matter. Okay. It's your rating. Okay, a 10 out of 10. Yeah. All right, let's find the okay. next movie. This is okay. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. From what year? Apparently, it's in 1971. And apparently, this is, this is about Charlie Bucket. I mean, I like the little dude, the little guy. He basically So the guy in the picture is not Charlie Bucket. Who is it? It's Willy Wonka. Okay. And you when should say that. This guy is Willy Wonka. And apparently Charlie miraculously wins the golden ticket. And 
well after Augustus Gloop and nobody who's who hasn't seen this before knows what the golden ticket does. Yeah, it just it the golden ticket allows you to enter the factory. What factory? The chocolate factory. And it is very lively and chantful and full of cute little Oompa Loompas. What are Oompa Loompas? They're cute. They have they have orange skin and they've got like green hair, like almost the size of a Hershey's Kissy. Their hair? Yeah, only it's a little more scraggly. Sort of like Sort of like you mean a, the shape, not the size. I meant that the would mean shape. their hair is like this big. Yeah, but yeah, but their hair is like that. Yeah. Anyway, I decided to refrain myself from singing the Oompa Loompas. Oh yeah, because then we have copyright problems on the video. Yeah, and then, then why did you choose this picture? Because I love the boat scene. It has creepy pasta pictures in it. Such as the cockroach crawling across the woman's mouth. And they're certainly not showing any, no yelling. No, any no. signs that they are slowing. Ooh. Too loud. Okay. And then they're... And then I Why would do just, you like this? Because it's funny. It's got good morals. And the world needs more people like Charlie Bucket. Because it's got singing. It's got singing, and it has morals. And a happy ending. The happy ending. And it's funny. It's really, really funny. So if you don't like movies with tragedy, then this is the one for you. All right, what do you rate it? A 10 out of 10! <laughs> Sorry. All okay, right. and the next movie review is The Little Foxes. From what year? From, it's right here. From 1941, and this is about... Well, who's playing this? Who are these people? Well, Betty Davis plays the uncaring, black-hearted, wicked, vile, evil, two-faced Regina Ginnins. I looked those up. Okay. Who's, uh, who's this guy? This guy is her husband. Played by... Herbert Marshall. Yeah. And he's he's her hus husband. And who's this girl? Teresa Wright. And what character is she? She plays Alexandra, but she is called San maybe like San or Anyway, it's Well, who is she compared to them? Well, she's the daughter, she's more sweet and innocent, and she even is reminded to apologize for being so rude to the girl. And back then, they weren't even allowed to wear makeup. I know, this, play this obviously takes place in some southern, southern era. And... A and what, what's going on in this story? Well, well, it's about how Virginia's relatives, except for, except for Birdie, she's sweet and I feel sorry for her. Her relatives, except for Birdie, are just quirks. All just quirks. They are up to no good. And... Apparently, Regina is trying to to want everything, to want the whole world, to want the bonds. And apparently, the man obviously refuses to pay her. And apparently... No spoilers. Yeah. Apparently, she's not a very good person. All right. What about her husband? Her husband is the polar opposite. He knows what he's up to. And 
I'd be like, isn't there another way to make a dime without without doing anything that anything that would swindle money out of people? And he's like, why can't you do a good, honest job? I would say the same things to him, like, only it would be like a gender bender role reversal. Uh, enough, enough, enough. All right, why do you like this movie? Well, the reason why is not only can I put myself in, well, one of the character's shoes, I can, I can see that it's got family drama, it's got love drama, and I like the character development of Alexandra. I mean, she's almost like a puppet, like, sort of like, sort of like she's being manipulated with strings, but her boyfriend can be responsible and could be commended and rewarded for helping her turn into a person who has a mind, a thought, a heart of her own. So, All right. So what do you think she'll do when she finds out her mama's true nature? Okay. <laughs> So what do you rate this movie? I give it a ten out of a out of a ten. Well, those are Katie's movie reviews for yeah. a movie she likes to watch over and over and over and over and over I know. and over and over. And I actually like memorizing the movie, so that's why I unintentionally torture my my aunt. But don't worry, she's she's a really sweet person. She just likes to she likes the movie. She just doesn't like to watch them so often. Oh, yeah, you're right. I shouldn't say too many TMI things on the net. Oh. No more. Okay, fine. Come on. We've got to so, record this. Oh, that's right. So if any of these movies gra just catch your attention. Catch your attention. Or if there's any of these that you've heard of but you haven't seen it Look or at the camera or like if you haven't seen any of the movies there or if they just catch your fancy you can well you should watch them you should watch them yeah and to those who are adolescents well i i doubt that they'll need Parental supervision, but no, it's... No, not for these movies. Not for these movies, though. Yeah, these are, are good movies. Yeah, they're really they're good. They're like PG. Yeah, they're like... Rated they're, PG. Yeah, they're like rated PG, G. Yeah. Yeah, like, audi like adolescents to younger audiences. So it's really like, like how they rated the movie up before it petered out. So, so thank you everybody for watching. And have a great summer. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. <laughs> you stole fizzy lifting drinks. You have bumped into the ceiling, which has to be washed and sterilized. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Whoa, that was like... Loud. All right, any other quotes? No! Please! Not, not Miss Hunt! Please! I'm surprised I can yell as good as the maid do that. All right, anything else? Well, if, well, out of all of the seven deadliest sins, jealousy is the most deadly. Oh, Joe, will you bring me coffee, please? Yes, sir. I don't think they say that, but also, I don't drink coffee. No?